What to do if you find mold in your apartment, presented by the DC Office of the Tenant Advocate. Disclaimer, the information provided in this tutorial video does not and is not intended to constitute legal advice. Instead, all information and content are for general informational purposes only. Mold is a fungus that lives in the natural environment. It produces spores that float through the air, land on a damp surface, and can grow on any organic material where oxygen and water are present. If an area of your home is damp or you have leaks or flooding, mold may begin to grow. When mold grows uncontrolled indoors, it can degrade building materials and furniture and may cause health problems. Indoor mold can irritate the eyes, skin, nose, throat, and lungs, may cause allergic reactions and trigger asthma attacks in some individuals, and may lead to infections in people with weakened immune systems. Mold in the Housing Code. Mold is not included in the DC Housing Code, nor is it enforced by DOB or the Department of Buildings. Instead, issues regarding mold should be referred to the Department of Energy and the Environment, or DOEE. However, you can request that the DOB inspect and cite your landlord for underlying causes of mold, such as plumbing leaks. What can I do to prevent mold? The following steps can help prevent mold. Keep indoor spaces dry and clean and at a low relative humidity. Report plumbing leaks, air conditioning leaks, gaps in windows, or flooding to your landlord as soon as possible. Use your bathroom and kitchen ventilation fans when needed. The DC Air Quality Amendment Act of 2014 gave the DOEE the authority to determine the level of mold that requires professional assessment and remediation and the timeline requirements for the landlord. Note, DOEE does not conduct mold inspections. When you discover mold, one, you must notify your landlord in writing. Two, your landlord must inspect your unit for mold within seven days of receipt of the notice. Three, your landlord must remediate the mold within 30 days after the inspection. Remediation. If the mold affected area is smaller than 10 square feet, your landlord can remediate the mold on their own. If the mold affected area is larger than 10 square feet, your landlord must hire a licensed mold professional to assess and remediate the mold. 10 square feet is roughly the size of a standard bath towel. DOEE maintains a list of licensed mold remediators at doee.dc.gov slash service slash mold. Remediation, less than 10 square feet. Here are the guidelines DOEE publishes for your landlord to remediate mold in less than 10 square feet in your apartment. One, remove underlying moisture problems such as roof leaks, plumbing leaks, floods, or high humidity. Two, ensure landlord or maintenance staff is trained on issues such as appropriate personal protective equipment, causes of moisture intrusion, health concerns related to mold, and mold remediation methods. Three, use one of the following acceptable cleanup methods. Cleanup methods from DOEE guidance. One, use a wet vacuum or steam cleaning. Two, Damp wipe surfaces with plain water or with water and detergent solution. Scrub as needed. Three, high efficiency particle air or HEPA vacuum after the material has been thoroughly dried. Dispose of the contents in well-sealed plastic bags. The landlord should not just paint over the mold. The mold should be fully removed prior to painting. If the mold was caused by contaminated water as opposed to clean water, then a professional licensed remediator should be used. What if my landlord does not remediate? If your landlord has not remediated the mold within 30 days or has failed to properly remediate the mold, you have the right to sue your landlord in Housing Conditions Court. Housing Conditions Court or HCC. The HCC allows tenants to sue landlords for mold and housing code violations. HCC complaints may be filed via e-filing online at the website here, U.S. Postal Mail, or the Civil Division After Hours Dropbox at 500 Indiana Avenue Northwest. Note, you must serve your landlord a copy of the complaint and summons at least eight days before the hearing. 
Additional options. If your landlord still does not remediate, you can also have a mold inspection done yourself. You can choose a mold professional from the list of DOEE licensed mold professionals and pay for a mold assessor to evaluate the residents. If you decide to bring a case to the Housing and Conditions Court against your landlord, the judge may order the landlord to reimburse you the cost of the mold assessment. When is my landlord allowed to make repairs? Your landlord must provide 48 hours written notice before entry except in case of emergency. The entry must be Monday through Saturday, not on federal holidays, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. or at another time agreed upon by the tenant. If you have questions or concerns regarding mold, contact the District of Columbia Office of the Tenant Advocate at 202-719-6560 or ota.dc.gov.